Hi, my name is Brian and welcome to this week's episode of Fully Cloudy. In this week's episode, I'm going to talk about something that's not cloudy at all, but just like a quick fix in case you need to run local R on your Chromebook. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you could do this. Uh, the first would be you could install uh, one of the full Linux distributions that you can run simultaneously on top uh, of Chrome. I think Crouton is the name of that. I've done that before. You need to put the laptop into development mode. It's kind of a hassle, but it does work. But and with that, you get a full Linux distribution with an X environment and everything. Um, if you have one of the newer Chromebooks, and this is what I just tried because I saw someone on Twitter post this idea, uh, there's this uh, Android application called New Root Debian. So New Root Debian runs a Linux in instance on your Android device, like your phone or some of the newer Chromebooks. And all you do is install it as an Android app. And when you start it up, it starts up a Linux distribution. Now, um, there's a couple problems with this, and I'll, I'll mention it. Uh, but you know, once you get your Linux distribution up and running, you can just do sudo uh, apt. Uh, you Actually, you don't even need to do sudo because you're automatically root apt get install r you know r r dash base and r dash base dash dev probably is what you'd want and uh it's not going to install them because i've already installed them um now this is going to install the stable version in the debian repositories which is going to be pretty old so if i look at r it's version 3.1.1 um but if you want you can uh update to newer repositories. You can just look online on how to do that in Debian, but probably you don't want to do that. Um, so a, a, a workflow for doing this is to install an editor in, uh, you can install Emacs, you know, so I have Emacs installed, um, but I found that uh, uh, New Root Debian doesn't like a lot of the Emacs keystrokes, which is kind of a problem. Um, like command space bar or control space bar for highlight. It doesn't seem to like that. So it kind of renders Emacs a little useless. What you could do instead is just install an editor, edit your R file um, in the nice editor that you have downloaded and then just source it into a uh, new root Debian here. Um, the other point I would make is that there's no X environment installed by default. There is a, uh, Android um, X environment that you can download called uh, XSDL, I believe it's called, or XDSL, one of those two. Um, and that you can export a full desktop or just individual. Um, you have to install the desktop, of course, on Debian, but once you install it, you can export the whole thing, um, or you can just have individual windows pop up through X11. I found that I tried it out. I got it working. I found it too slow to be useful. So kind of the workflow I would suggest is if you really very much so have to run local R for some reason, edit in an external editor. You know, this uses the same file system as your Chromebook. So you can see the file, source it into R um, on new root Debian. If you need to create a plot or something, you'll create a PDF then just double click on that PDF and look at it through Chrome. So that's what I would say to do in the event that you really need to do something not cloudy. The benefit of doing it this way is that you don't have to go into development mode. It's super easy. As soon as you uninstall uh, new root Debian, it kind of gets rid of all everything. So if you need to redo it, it's, it's, it's also really easy. Um, so it's a quick and simple solution. And if you don't have a Chromebook, if you have some sort of Android tablet or something like that, and you want to actually run R locally, um, then this would be a reasonable solution. It's not something you would want to work in every day, but if you were in a pinch and you really needed to do something like if you're going on an airplane and you just wanted to try some uh, some coding or to learn some, you know, some some R tools while you're on the airplane, this would be a pretty reasonable thing to do. Okay, well, that is our non-cloudy thing in today's episode of Fully Cloudy. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you try out New Root Debian and install R or Python or anything else and get it working and really like it, find some other ways to do things, post them in the comments section, and I will see you next week.